All right, you guys, before we get this video cranking, uh, as you've seen on the live stream with Tess, my website is up, www.teamdperformance.com. I do have some shirts on there. I got one with the Fox body that I did for Rocky Mountain Race Week, kind of a tribute to everybody that helped me out there. And I also got one with the Falcon. So um, I'll drop some pictures so you can see them. Uh, it would help me out if you were to visit the website, pick up a shirt, they're on sale for 20 bucks plus shipping. And, you know, I hope that I can uh, get some more stuff in the future, some more designs and stuff like that, and get them up on the website. I got some pretty good ideas, but it's expensive to, to do all of this, edit, film, shirts. So I'm trying to get some revenue coming back into the channel just to help that out. Um, so check out the website and I appreciate your support. Also, I hate to be that guy, but I was looking at analytics the other day. It looks like a large number of people that watch my content, they're not subscribed to my channel. So if you could subscribe to the channel, like and comment, all that stuff that everybody else asked for. It helps with the algorithm. It helps uh, keep my stuff relevant. Uh, I was posting stuff up like on Mondays, but it seems like most everybody's watches like uh, Friday, Saturday, Thursday-ish. That's where the most watches are, so I may start dropping them then instead of earlier in the week. Anyways, let's get this video cranking. <laughs> Sunday, the 19th of December. I'm loading up the trailer, heading out to Mass to go get the Falcon. Yee. Before we can get the Falcon from that, we gotta go put the the Vega away in storage. I don't know what Tim's doing, maybe a Turbo 400 later, but we're gonna get the Vega out of the way for now, and then we can change that later. All right, I'm at Matt's, here to pick up the Falcon. It's done, and we're gonna talk to Matt real quick and just go over the K members and how he got into this, his car, and why his product is better than AJE. All right, Matt, can you tell us about why your stuff's better than AJE? Uh, just the quality of material, the way it's built, attention to detail. Um, everything's taken well that hand built, so. And, you, and how, did, how did you get, what made you want to start making your own K-Members? Uh, honestly, I purchased some products and just wasn't pleased with the, what I had. Like so, myself. Yeah. So, I mean, like I say, there's an ask for every seat. So that product can work for some people, but for like my application and your application, it's just a little, I'd like to see something a little more uh, stable, I'd say. Yeah. A little bit more well built. Right. More attention to detail. Yeah. So. And um, you want to talk about your car, like how? I mean, you're, you you or obviously ordered the same thing I ordered to do your car. Yeah. Got the product that you got. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Well, the whole thing was, was when I got mine, it it was something to work with. It didn't really um, like fit well. Like mine sat, cause I have a 67 Fairlane and it sat like on the bend of the frame. It There was no real way to kind of like put it in safely. There's huge gaps kind of between, cause it obviously was flat and it's sitting on the bend. Right. Um, there's just, uh, it, it was an inch on each side sticking inside uh, my fender, uh, my uh, frame rails in the car. It just, it just didn't fit right to, to my specifications to where I thought like, Hey, I talked to these guys on the phone. I talked to the dude for a good 30, 40 minutes on the phone. And he told me, yes, this is for that car, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, all right, man, cool. Well, I'll give it a shot. And got in the mail and pulled it out. I was like, this yeah. is like someone's practicing on it right. or something. But, Same experience that, that I had really. Yeah. So, uh, we'll show, we'll show Matt's car here. So this is Matt's car. Um, if anybody's followed any of my social media, they see that um, we're always plugging each other. But this is his car. This is what his setup is. So just a little bit of stuff that's taken out of the inner fenders and then his K member. Yeah, those are the AJE. Uh, uh, Caster cameras. Yeah, they. I, I wasn't pleased with those, but I didn't want to spend another. Those are actually pretty expensive, too. And when I got them, I was like, shit. And I didn't really have the money to buy another set. Right. <laughs> so I used with what I had. Right. Which is what we do. Yeah. And what I did is, it's like a stacked steel design. So you can see it's even splitting right here. So I, I, I'm going to have to do something about all this. Might have to take them all off and weld. I'd probably just cut them off and do the this setup on set it. Setup I did. So obviously I had talked to Matt a little bit before I brought my car. My car is not even close to cl as clean as his is, but... Um, we went with Fox caster camera plates from Team Z, and I thought about putting just a fixed location deal in it, but um, I think there's a little more adjustability if you want to change things in the future. And so this is what my car looks like. I'll do more once I get the car on the lift and it's in the daytime, but um, I'm extremely impressed. One of the biggest concerns that I had is where the wheel was gonna sit in the fender well, and I think Matt got it perfect. Um, I didn't want to be sitting real far in. I don't like the way that looks, and I certainly hate Mustang II suspension. It looks like shit. The car doesn't work as good, but man, that fits in there perfect. Yeah, it'll go a lot lower too once you have weight in it and whatever. And you can also adjust it back up to this height because that's not completely locked out either. Right, and the control arms are rather, you know, they're a lot different than an AJE. They're fully adjustable. I don't know if you can see in there, and we'll show it later, but they're fully, fully adjustable um, in, out, whatever you want to do. So Matt's taking the fender off his car, and if you can see, these control arms are fully adjustable. And so you'll see a lot of people, they'll use the AJE and then they'll use like a racecraft arm. Uh, Matt can make you whatever length arm you need and they're fully adjustable. And then strange coil over. It's good stuff. I get it's a lot of questions too about like a handful of people go, well, the shock towers are still there. Well, in all honesty, what comes up here? Nothing. The Mustang II still has an arm protruding out right here. Yes. So you have this cross member, which is whatever, but then you have you still have the top arm. Getting rid of the top arm lets you chop this way back. Like if you notice, my car's cut. Right. Completely down. Like the unibody's cut half inch back. It's 31 and a half inches wide. We've got twin turbos, forward facing headers that are unmodified. Right. So. And so one of the things that I was gonna do is cut everything off like Tessa's car, but talking to Matt and being that my car's a drag and drive car. And I think this one's going to be too. The problem with doing that is when you run through mud or water or anything else, uh, it's going to get stuff everywhere. And I'm not saying that it's going to hurt anything, but go watch Alex Taylor and her dad try to clean that 55 after the last Dragon Drive. There was stuff everywhere. So I think I'm going to do similar setup as Matt and just cut holes in the, do something very similar to that. This isn't that much weight on my car. If you see my other videos, I cut the front of the Ranchero off and it's really not that not that heavy. Another thing too with the AJE is the racks don't fit. The, like say if you want to run this like big ass 
power steering rack or whatever from like the junkyard you get them everywhere they hit they don't work they bottom out there's just not enough room right so this is uh stood off just a little bit to and also straightens out the uh, steering geometry of it also and so with these kits uh you can use a fox you can use the fox spindle in there or you can use like an sn spindle i chose to go with an sn spindle um because i know you can get that uh, you can get the hub anywhere if you're on lmr you can get fox stuff anywhere you want to get fox stuff at but if you're in the middle of the midwest you may or may not get bearings for something like that so that's why i chose to go with the sn and obviously matt's done the same thing